this week um, addressing a friend's question. It was basically, he was asking, is our life predetermined? Um, do we just follow a pre-scripted scenario throughout our life and die on a point, an appointed time and place and have different experiences surely because we are fated to have them? Well, that's a, it's a, a complex question because it's all about your perspective and your perspective changes your perceptions of time. Here in the stream of time-space, um, we are not scripted. We have free will. Um, we have the will or the ability to will anything we want. We might not have the ability to achieve that will, depending on circumstances, etc. But this is not fate. Um, this is just happenstance, really. Uh, life is not scripted in that way. There are karmic forces which will see to it that we have certain experiences that we need to have, to hopefully learn lessons that we need to learn. Um, but those karmic forces are not ironclad. We can change our own uh, karmic uh, buildup um, by our actions, by our willing. Um, it can be changed in an instant. Um, so, there is that perspective. The other perspective is from outside of time-space, where we can see everything that has happened, or <sighs> words uh, don't do well in, in this discussion, because our words are time-based things built around time-based conceptualizations. So, imagine standing above the universe and seeing all of time at once, the whole of time and space complete as a unit. So from this perspective, we can see specific events that happen in that stream of time, which would be, from our perspective, future events. We can see how they resolve, how they evolve, what ends up happening. Um, from this perspective of uh, being able to look at the whole of time. So, from that perspective, it appears that everything is fated to be. But that's a misinterpretation, because it's happening here and now, you know, and we have free will. All of our choices are our choices. Um, they're not predetermined by an outside force. Um, but when looked at from the other perspective, we can tell what is going to happen next in that sequence. But we're not involved in that sequence. Uh, it's, it fucks with your mind. It really does. Um, <clears throat> because when we're here, we... We live um, in the moment, and everything's changeable. Everything is changing. And every moment is filled with infinite change. And in our lives, those changes are up to us. Um, they're not up to um, a force that sits outside of time and determines things that happen. That, that force does not exist. Uh, it's just, again, a matter of perspective, whether you're here living it or whether you're outside looking at it, having already been lived. Um, hmm. Yeah. So, people have always been predicting the future, and oftentimes very accurately. Um, but it's because they slip into or uh, gain insights from that extratemporal perspective. That is how we are able to see the future. 
in general. There's also, there are threads of continuity that weave through all of time space. So one thing follows another. That's the, the nature of sequence. And this realm in which we live is the sequential realm. Everything happens in sequence. One event follows another event and leads into it. Um, so there are threads of continuity and threads of karma that exist and run through all of time continuously. So it's possible to see those threads of continuity and predict what is most likely to happen. Uh, it's most likely that I'm going to inhale after I exhale because that thread of continuity is very strong in my body. Um, but if I just stop breathing, that thread of continuity fails. Um, so we see what is most likely to occur and that's a pretty good prediction of what is going to happen next. And that is how most precognitive experiences occur is a sensitivity to the threads of continuity and the threads of karma which are very personal. Um, they can be group karma but it is personal to that group. Um, yeah. So there's lots um, supporting the onward logical flow of events and we can easily predict from that. But the true precognition comes from the greater self and our connection with the greater self. The greater self can see especially the um, entire lives of its individuals, the entire lifetimes. Nostradamus, for example, I think, judging from what I have read of uh, the Nostradamus writings, um, was working from the greater self perspective. And I see that in how symbolic what he is describing is. Because when you peer into what is ostensibly uh, your future, um, it becomes impossible to really um, define the details because you do not know the details in what you are seeing. You're not experiencing. You're only observing it. Um, imagine uh, you are from 1925 uh, and you are looking now into 2021. How are you going to understand the uh, events of 2021? Uh, how are you going to understand, you know, cell phones? You're going to have to, you know, you just don't have the frame of reference for it. So, in looking forward, you're always looking at it from your um, point in time, really. Um, you're looking at it with all the preconceptions, all the habits of thinking of your present time, not the future time. So you never fully understand um, the events and, uh, yeah, the events of that future time. And you have to uh, describe them symbolically. You know, in terms that you understand, and that's what I see in Nostradamus' writing. They're all in symbolic images taken from his own time in how he would interpret what he is seeing of the future. So that's, it's, it's very difficult to look from the greater self perspective and, um, determine these really precise um, predictions, as it were. Uh, the farther you get from your own place in time, in your perception, the vaguer it becomes, whether that's past or future.
okay? Because point of reference. You just have no true understanding of what you are seeing. Now, working uh, within the stream of time, looking at uh, the threads of continuity and the threads of karma, well, that's different. Because you do have uh, an in-the-moment uh, understanding of what is happening. So, the long and short of it is no, there is no fate in the way that we conceive of it. There is a perspective from which it's all already occurred and you can see what it is that is yet to occur from the temporal perspective. Um, but there is no fate. Um, no force that determines what will happen. Because when you're in the uh, present moment, anything can happen. Just absolutely anything can happen. Anything can be done. We can change our lives in any way we wish. <sighs> Within the constraints that we live with, you know? <laughs> um, yeah, within the constraints that we live with. Um, so, I hope that answers that question. Bye-bye.